Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, so I've discovered another little problem in the apartment. There's something definitely wrong with the way the toilet downstairs drains. I'm not going to get into the details, trust me, you don't want to know. But I've tried the typical stuff, plunging and that, and that isn't doing any good. There's something weird going in there, so I'm going to have to get the apartment involved in this, because that's gross. Maybe it's time for America to have a new favorite TV show. That's disgusting! You may remember that a couple days ago I mentioned that one of the things I'd noticed about Texas was that the people were so much more friendly. Um, I actually ran into an example of that yesterday when I was at Home Depot. Now, I didn't even really think about it as, you know, something worth talking about. Uh, at the time until like last night so I kind of wanted to talk about that now because I thought that was kind of cool I'd gone into the Home Depot as you remember to pick up some of those reflective tapes to tape strips that I could put on the on the bar around my uh, carport so that I could see it at night the truth the truth is when I went to my Home Depot in California I'd been there a million times and I still would not have known where to go look for these things so going into uh, brand new Home Depot for like the second time ever, I knew I was going to have to ask for help. So I found uh, two uh, Home Depot employees, a man and a woman who were just kind of talking to each other in the store. So I walked up to them and as soon as the woman acknowledged me, uh, first thing she did was admire my t-shirt. Now uh, this is the t-shirt I was wearing yesterday, my Texas Chainsaw Massacre t-shirt. She then went on to say that that was one of the scariest movies that she'd ever seen and that she was uh, actually to this day kind of afraid to watch it. At this same, about this time, the guy that she was talking to a minute ago pipes in, he starts talking about it and, uh, and we get into this conversation about you know the origins of the movie and that it wasn't actually a true story but it, it was kind of uh, a fictionalized accounting of a particular real-life serial killer named, named Ed Gein. Well, Ed Gein was also the inspiration for two other really classic uh, horror films, Psycho and Silence of the Lambs. And we got into this conversation and just kept going and going around. And we were two, three, four minutes into it. Finally, another uh, Home Depot employee comes over and he starts talking about it. And then I start going off on the fact that we, uh, that both the house and the gas station still exist. And uh, that in the past couple of weeks, uh, you know, I visited both of them, and that one of them was a, a barbecue with a with a couple of hotel rooms that you could stay in in the back, and the other one had been turned into a restaurant. And like I said, this went on for like three or four minutes until I finally had to kind of tack back to into the topic and ask my question. But I was just really stunned by that because. You know, Home Depot people, yeah, they're usually really friendly and they'll say hello to you, but that's about as far as they go. They might compliment you on your shirt, but it would never turn into like a three or four minute conversation like that, like what happened uh, yesterday. I just thought that was really kind of stood out as, as an example of how the people here are different. As for the pod situation, um, not a lot's happened there, but I did get an email yesterday uh, acknowledging that they, they had received my list of expenses and really didn't seem to be disputing any of them. So that's good news. So I think I'm going to do a live stream on Saturday. We're going to come on for about an hour and see what happens. Uh, I'm thinking about doing it about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's going to be 3 o'clock Texas time. So that's like 1 o'clock Pacific time, 2 o'clock Mountain time, 3 o'clock here of course. Uh, or four o'clock if you're on the East Coast. I'm sorry if you're elsewhere in the world. I don't know exactly what those times are, but uh, if you look on your computer, uh, I am, you know, this time zone is what they call universal time minus six hours. So UTC minus six. Uh, from there, you ought to be able to figure out what, zo what zone you're in, and that should help you figure out uh, when I'll be on. So I hope to see a bunch of you and answer a bunch of your questions. So I did get a little bit of rain last night, so that was kind of cool. It was it is dry here most of the day, and then I decided to go out and have some dinner. And when I was at the restaurant, uh, all of a sudden I started hearing you know thunder claps and seeing lightning flashes. And it was raining outside, so I moved to one of the windows just so I could kind of enjoy it. And well, I did capture a little video, so check it out. And just like that, the sky opens up.
All right, so that's pretty much all I have for today. I know, kind of a slow day, right? Whatever, it happens from time to time. So thanks as always for watching. I hope to see you uh, on Saturday on my live stream. And good night.